This is an ABC 10 News update. Hello there, I'm Virginia Chow with this ABC 10 News update. Another death at a San Diego County jail is under investigation. It happened at the George Bailey Detention Facility in Otay Mesa. According to the Sheriff's Department, Omar Ornelas and another inmate were found unresponsive in a cell. Now, the other inmate was given naloxone, which is used to quickly reverse an opioid overdose and recovered, but Ornelas died. A medical examiner will be doing an autopsy to determine the cause of death. The Citizens Law Enforcement Review Board will be investigating investigating Ornelas death as well. San Diego County is set to become the first border region to provide free legal representation to immigrants facing deportation. This is all a part of the Immigrant Rights Legal Defense Program backed by County Supervisor Tara Lawson Reamer. Lawson Reamer calls this a lifeline to provide help to those who need it while also saving taxpayer dollars. All of the key players implementing this program are participating in a news conference today. Some new hubs to help high school students plan their futures is coming to San Marcos. The San Marcos Promise, in collaboration with the local school district, opening future centers on the campuses of three high schools. The centers are designed to help students explore their options and successfully launch their futures. The first of the three centers is holding a grand opening event tonight in the San Marcos High School Quad. And let's talk about the weather as we go through this day and continue to see clouds out there, Vanessa. Right, a mix of sun and clouds is going to be the story for the bulk of your Thursday, all thanks to the uh, continuation of onshore flow. So it really has uh, became extended uh, towards those mountain areas as far as the marine layer goes. It's also kept us nice and cool as we get gotten through the morning. Today's highs this afternoon, slightly cooler by a few degrees along the coastal communities, 5 to 10 degrees cooler for the inland valleys. Those temperatures put us well below normal for this time of the year. Mountain areas in the mid 50s with partly cloudy skies in the deserts close to 90 degrees. Speaking of the mountains and deserts, we also still have that high wind advisory and that took effect at about 1 p.m. and it will remain uh, in effect until the overnight hours. Inland highs today mid to upper 60s and then we warm up by about 10 degrees this weekend with Saturday being the warmest day of our seven day outlook before a week disturbance cool thing cools things down next week. Virginia. Thank you, Vanessa. For the latest news, weather and traffic, just go to 10news.com or you can download our free app from your app store. For ABC 10 News, I'm Virginia Shaw.